Hey Devin, uh, hope all is well. I want to just go over a few things from the lesson the other day with you and uh, so you have stuff to practice and uh, some feedback ways to know that you're doing things correctly, okay? Um, so as I already said in kind of like the analysis, I feel like there's two different things you deal with. You know, you have your irons, which, you know, we're gonna have more of a descending blow, right? Your angle of attack is gonna be more down, right? Four degrees down, or depending on the club. Let's just say you have a seven, and we're gonna say we're four to five degrees down, or, you know, something like that. Um, and then you take your driver, and let's say we wanna get, depending on you, but depending on your spin loft, whatever it is, when we're getting the numbers down, so three to four up, or whatever it is, we'll have a little different move around a little room sideways here, so we'll be more here, instead of irons here, right? So, but in in the end, you do have a similar problem with both. And it's this club face coming down here like this. And see, you're even, you know, a lot of times, a lot of people who really um, have a huge problem with, uh, you know, cast order, they will be, you know, it'll be like way back here. So by the time they get in here, it's like, you know, this. Okay, yours isn't, you aren't like that far off of this, so you're not bringing it down with this like massive cast, okay? There's a small bit of it, but what it boils down to more is your club face is open. So what do you have to do? You gotta figure out how to go like, let's say you're here, you bring your hands in pretty good. Now probably this is more than you're in, you're more back here, but your club's open at this point. So it's like it has to go like this. You know, you have to have this kind of motion here so you square off your irons more like this now you move forward so you get your low point a little forward forward but you're throwing it which you're obviously a good golfer so you've learned to do that okay so we do have these differences between the two and one of them I showed you just for practice I want you to do more right-handed stuff with the driver and just feel you get going like this and I want you to feel more of this when you get more down to this point that we have this driver in more of a better position ready for that toe to come over. Because when you look at your trackman stance I showed you, you had some draws in there, a bunch of them. Everyone should have been a push cut because they were all hit on the toe, okay? So why does that happen too? In your early extending. So here's the thing, okay? I am not a teacher that's gonna give you four to five different things to work on. It doesn't work, they don't all get fixed, and you fail, okay? I've seen it over and over and over. I do believe you can work on two different things with irons and driver because they are both gonna apply, or they're, they're both applying. They each of them are the same, getting the club more closed, but one of them's a little more delivery position where you're gonna learn with the driver to feel like it's more of, we're getting here and we're really feeling, because we we're gonna end up more like this. You're trying to get it close so bad, you're leaning back like this, because you're hoping to get that club face closed with it, but then you'll catch it on the toe because you've early extended. And then next thing you know, we get those hooks. And then you're thinking you rolled the club over, which you didn't, you had a little baby fade. So let's talk about irons first. I, you know, if you don't like starting like this, I don't think it's the end of the world, but I think it's good to know when you get here that we are in a good position already. And you do do that a lot, get here a good position. It's when you get down here, we'll notice like this. And from there you have to go like this more. Okay, you'll keep rotating everything and you'll do more like that. So obviously it doesn't look like that with you, but <laughs> um, that's kind of what we're seeing. We're seeing more of, you may get here in a good position, everything look okay here, then we're kind of, see how we're open? Then you kind of throw it, okay? I can't even do it. I guess I should practice that move. So congratulations, you're that good at it. <laughs> it's just two different swings. So um, I want you to do this. We, we, we already did this drill. I don't ever have anybody do drills that we don't practice, okay? Here. And I want you checking yourself at P6. P6 is parallel to the ground. See how it's matching my back angle pretty much? Yours, you know, maybe like this, okay? If it, here. See, yeah, I can hit it like that. <laughs> um, but then I just get to rotate, okay? And for me, that's, I used to do what you did years and years ago when I was younger, but now, to me, it's so much easier to get this club here because guess what I get to do then? It's just a rotational move, okay? So, showing it to you again one more time, how you're gonna do this drill. 
like I said, if you don't feel like, I, it, in fact, I, I'm gonna change my mind on you. I would like to see you do this, hinged in front of you. Why? Because you see this alignment stick on here. I want you getting this more through your shoulder. You're, you tend to get back here. Here, club, throw, okay? So if I have this alignment stick on the ground, see how I'm following it back, see how I dive right through my right shoulder? You don't need to be back here. Okay, you can get way back there with yours, and I don't, I don't like that for you. So, I want you to be more free up there to use it. So, you're actually going to have to come up here, and there's going to be have to be some movement of this club down. If you really want to feel it, spread your hands apart, go up, and then feel this move. We got to move this on the way down. I don't need to be like this. I need to be here. But you're going to have to figure out how much. It's called rate closure. Every pro does it. There's nobody that doesn't work on this. Okay. Now, if you're Dustin Johnson, you've done it different. You've gone so much this way, you're hanging on to it. And he's actually going like this. If you look closely, by, all energy has to release. It's physics. It's going to release at some point. So his goes this way. I don't like that for most people. Most people, I want them creating that bow wrist on the way down and more through. Instead of him, it's super bowed. Bowed, 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 bowed. Hold the energy. He's going so fast, releases. So then he'll up, end up getting this cup afterwards. But there's not many people that can do his move anyways. You have to be so supple down low and whatever. So I think I showed you. So iron, I would love to see you like this. Follow with your hands to this back so you get more here. Okay? And then checking it. Now, if you kind of notice what I'm doing here, I'm making sure I'm not going like this. See that? So I'm a little more back. So I'm up here. I think you can institute at that same time as long as you're going slow motion, okay, doing this drill. So you're checking down to P6 as we did. You're like, okay, good. I'm in pretty good position with it. And go up a little bit and hit, okay? Now you're gonna notice when you're here, you come down and check here. You should go up a little bit and then boom, okay? You should end, like when you look in this video, see how my club's out here? My hands are here, like when we hit the impact bag. That's what we're going for, okay? Driver, I don't have enough room to really swing driver in here. I'll probably grab this hybrid, show you this a little bit. So. I really do want you to just do that same thing we did with the right hand. Doesn't even have to be on the ground. That really does it just here. And then we're just gonna feel it more. So let's check it when I get down to P6. Is that better? Yeah, so that's more matching me. And I'm just gonna feel that toe coming over. Now, what, what do we see you do? You're more up like this, right? In order not to be that way, butt's gotta go back and then I regain this bend over here is what I want instead of more in as you saw you do, okay? I don't, I'm not as worried about that right now with you. I am, I mean, I don't wanna say it wrong, I say I'm not worried about early extension. I am worried about it, but here's the deal. You can only do so much, okay? So if you can learn to get this down here with the driver where this is in a better position for you by the time you get to P6, where you learn how to get this thing here, toe coming over and release it, and we're here instead of like this, you've accomplished a ton, okay? Um, I, 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 that would be my two focuses for you. I mean, in golf terms and, and the studies that have been done, it, it's called chunking. So what you do is you work on one to two things. I feel like yours is two because you have the driver in there, but in essence, they're all the, we're both working on this club face at P6. You're usually in a pretty good position here. You are here, you lose it down to here, like this movement, okay? So you're gonna have to work on the way down to physically moving this left hand more into flexion. And so here, we're gonna be going a little bit more that way, okay? And it's easy to see like when I'm doing it, the club face, and then your right's gonna go with it. And you can see I end up more here, so I can just go like this, just so powerful, okay? And you, got, you have some good power now, but more to come, so anyways, but I do like what I wrote because sometimes I worry a little bit about is it going to be taken as, man, I got a lot of things wrong. You, you got a few things wrong, but you have a lot of potential, a ton of potential to become whoever you want as golf. But what you'll find out in order to reach your level or to, or to get to your potential, it has to be done a certain way, okay? If, if you're a believer always in full swings and going full, you'll never get there, I promise you. We only get there in movements that are slower because we don't learn. If I just go, okay, I'm gonna go get this driver down and we go work on just swinging full every time, 
I may get it down at the range, but it will never transfer, okay? Never. We have to do this in slow motion moves until we learn it. And I like seeing us work, you know, I call it nine to three, hands nine, three, because we start here and then they will get up to 10, then maybe 11, whatever it is. So you learn one area, and then you just go up, 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 back, up, down. So then you have it and it makes it a lot easier way to learn. Focus on the small and then the big becomes reachable and attainable. Okay. It's a pleasure meeting you. Um, feel free to ask me any questions. Um, but we're working on, you're working on this drill here and really feeling nice compression. And if you're finishing just like this, you did a great job. And for this thing, we want to see this ball probably, if it goes straight, that's okay. Uh, but for you, it's probably going to be a little right because it could maybe a little hard for you to get this club face shut. Okay. Let me know how it's going. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.